Is this on? Hey, you folks, it's Rich220. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell for post notifications. And leave a comment down below. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to shine up this puppy a little bit. Uh, because it's been looking rather dull. So, I got my tool here. And we're going to get on this right now. Normally, you're not supposed to do it at this high of a speed, but there's spots where it's peeling, so, you know, if you, uh, if you know how to do it, and you do it properly, um, it may just heat it up and uh, some kind of re-adhese it, re it to the, uh, the car again, a little bit at least anyway. Supposed to do it is about 1800 to 2000, but I usually go a little faster because I don't hit any uh, things like that there. And if you go too fast, you'll get slow marks. If you're watching what I'm doing, I'm going on a down up slope. Kind of like a curve. Because when you're taking the dullness off, you don't want it to go back up in the paint. So you want it to go down below. Now, some of the spots I'm going to have to hit with paint again, but you can see the door. I don't know if you can see it or not. I guess you can. It's pretty shiny from here up. Back here, it's dull yet. I haven't done down here, and I've done only a part of the fender up top, so...
really quick. I'll try and show you guys the difference. So, okay. I guess you can see from here, there's the reflection of my hand. Okay. Now over here, see how it's bubbling up? That's why this car's got to be repainted again. And there are cracks all over the paint. So, well, what I'm doing for now is because the seasons are changing is I'm just going to try and heat it up and somehow get it to, you know, reattach itself to the actual, you know, see like from here up, it's dull, but from here back, it's not, okay? You can see in the back there now, if I were to go back there and do that, you'll see just how quick that changes because that doesn't have, um, let me see if I can't get this over here. Nope, gotta put this over this way. That quarter piece above where it says Bel Air, it actually has a lot of paint on it. So, and I'm just going to go and shine it up. Just so you get a general idea of what I'm dealing with, because without me doing that, you probably won't see it. It, but the camera may not pick it up so uh, you see the reflection of my hand and my arm and I got it all the way down but you got to go over it a couple of times see I don't have any wax so let's see what's going on here Oh, it's actually the wrong way. Where is it? No. All right. I don't have any car wax, so what I'm doing is kind of like, let's just say you have a custodian that works in a school, okay? And they have those floor polishers. Now, normally they use a stripper, and then they use a uh, wax layer, and then they use a sealer. Um, but... I was hearing noises of somebody pulling up. Um, I don't have any of that stuff, but the pad that I have is literally for this car. Um, so that's 
what I'm using to bring up the shine, if you could see. I hope you could see it. All the way to the door. Where this piece here meets the door. And right where the door is, it looks dull. Okay? Same with down below. So this has all got to be worked in order to be shiny again. Now, when I can afford car wax and sealer and stuff like that, then, you know, I'll come out here and do it again. But for now, mainly what it is is just to make it look good before I put it away for the winter. Um, I don't know how many more days we're going to have of warmth. And I'm going to put this over here. And I don't know how much time I'm going to have to do things. So, because of that, I'm kind of trying to polish it up now. I'll at least bring the pigmentation back up. There's enough wax in this pad that it should be able to do that. Even the best of us do this. There is a burn mark I just put in the trunk lid. There's only one way to get that out. Wet sand it. And that'll take the burn right out of it. And then when you go over it again, and I'll show you. It's right here where my finger is. Okay, that's the burn mark. So what I do is I'll sit there and I'll get some 400 grit sandpaper, wet sand it with no pressure. You don't put any pressure on it because if you put pressure on it, it's just going to dig into the paint, okay? And then once it's smooth again, I'll polish it at a slower rate. That's how you do it. Like I said, no pressure. And I'll show you the before and after too, so the way you can see it doesn't do anything. It just should be wet, but I don't think there's anywhere where there's water around here now.
but I'm not going to do much to it anyway because the only thing you're doing is you're taking the swirl mark out of it. Remember what I said, no pressure. You put pressure on it, and you got a bigger problem. That's where it digs into the paint. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go wet this because it's making it worse. So I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, we're back. I just wanted to get this wet a little bit because it seemed like the uh, dryness of the paper was actually scratching it, so I didn't want to do that. And like I was saying, folks, the scratch is gone. It's not there. Like I said, that's all it takes. I don't do clear coat. I never have done clear coat, and I never will do clear coat. Um, because this is a lot easier to work with than working with clear coat. If you mess that up and you dig that into the paint, you're not getting it out. Okay, you're going to have to redo the whole car. That's the problem with that stuff. All right, so. I am going to get back at this. And uh, I think, um, you know, we're just going to make it a short video. What was it? Yeah, it's 20 minutes. That's long enough. But you see what I'm saying. I mean, it brings back up the shine in the paint. And if you look here at the door... It's dull again, so that hasn't been touched. This has. Same with the trunk lid. All right, folks. So, like I said in the beginning, like and subscribe. Hit the bell for post notifications and leave a comment down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.